Hello viewers and welcome to part two of the Renko Trading Bot build. In the last episode I introduced the series to you guys. What we're going to be doing at the overview level. Now in part two we're considering the crucial stage of planning the trading strategy system. So you know you're going to take it from idea all the way through to fully automated and often people overlook this stage but I can tell you it is one of the most crucial out of the whole lot before you've even you know put your fingers to the keyboard and done any coding or you know back tested or put your strategy together you need to come up with an effective plan and there's more to it than meets the eye if you want to get a winning system now I'm going to take you through my process how I do it and hopefully you can take that and use it yourself and we're going to progress the series on and focusing on the market that we were looking at WTI crude oil and the strategies around that and build that out further so let's get into it we're going to look at a whole host of different um, sources that go into the trading plan the information that we're looking for from strategy logic technology stack data sources interfaces and architecture testing and versioning and flexibility and evolution that all sounds great but how do you actually put it together into you know a plan now this is where i introduce you to my seven step mental model that's what i call it the mental model for system building it's the framework that you need you know when you're starting out on this sort of project um, it's my step by step process that i follow to come up with any strategy or system and we're going to hone it for our idea that we launched in the first episode but let's just quickly go through what that you know, seven step mental model is. Now think of the mental model as a business plan. It's answering the who, what, where, how, why questions. So you can get definitive results to give you confidence that, you know, your idea is a workable one. You can deploy it and make some money from it. Now this is the seven step process that I always use. Now um, you can see we start with mindset and skills, then we go into having the idea, planning the system, building the system, testing the system, and optimization and robustness testing. Now, I've separated one from the next five there because, you know, really, you know, you should have the right mindset and skills in place firstly before you do this sort of stuff. So that's why that's bucketed in there, and that has sub buckets that you need to break down and once we've gone through numbers two to six we get some results out you know we do further testing um, you know optimization robustness forward testing all that sort of thing and once we're happy we go live but it's not just a case of you know just going live and letting it run we've got to measure analyze we go through a test you know incubation phase maybe two three months live trading before scaling up and sizing up so there's a lot to the model but you've got to get it right so i want you to take away that this is like a business plan that maybe you would give to your bank manager um you know if you're going for a business loan to start a new business or think of it if you're on the trading floor the desk you know and you went up to your boss and asked him you know can i have some risk limits for this new idea i've got he's not just going to hand you over money you've got to prove to him that it works so this is the whole idea of this in a sort of framework structure that you can roll out record keep every time you do this now if we put it into the context of this series and building the bot i'm presuming you know from step one that i've already got the right mindset and skills to do this sort of thing um, the idea we've already laid out in part one which was a purely technical analysis Renko um, based trading system that's fully automated focusing on WTI crude oil and we had various sub strategies around breakouts and trend following so that was the idea behind it and then we are um, after we're satisfied with our idea and we think that there's some edge there we don't have to have hard concrete numbers of the edge just yet 
Um, but then we move on to the planning of the system, and that's where we're at now with this step of the you know series. And then from there on, we would move on to building, testing, and optimizing. Yeah, I'm going live, but all of that needs to be laid out. All those steps need to be laid out in this part three, which is planning the system. So you've got a roadmap to follow. So we got through the idea um, phase and we're into heavy planning now. We also got to get into the detail of the strategy a bit more. We need to know about the mechanics. You know, each strategy is going to have to have defined entry and exit rules. It's going to have to have stop loss and take profit logic. We might have some confirmation um, built in from higher time uh, block size filters. We're going to build, try and build in risk management around position sizing based on capital and volatility, optimization techniques, and also execution. Very important. You know, how are we going to get the data, how we're going to get it live, and how are we going to actually get the system to read the signals, submit the trades, monitor open positions, and adjust, you know, take profit, stop loss levels if needed. And also then we sort of move into evaluation, we get some numbers out. It's about building the back testing engine that we're going to need here. You know, can we build it that it's flexible, have multiple indicators set up so we can change the variables to create optimal results, you know, brick size optimization, uh, comparing variations of the strategy that need to be stored internally in the system and evaluating the, you know, things like the equity curve, sharp ratio, win rate, you know, drawdown, all those sort of numbers. So there's a lot, lot to put in there. As you can see, it can become a very detailed document. And once you've got some results it's about improvement optimization and we need a modular system and i want to be able to like i said change indicators and tools to become you know to produce better results swap you know in alternative renko brick logic test new position sizing methods and get my hands back and retrieve those test results for comparison and then i'm still not going to go live until I'm fully satisfied it's passed multiple walk forward tests, holds up in volatile conditions. You know, we're going to run it, you know, sort of call it stress testing through you know, various scenarios. And I'm going to have a period of about two months. You know, I want it to work across, you know, unseen data. So that's just from the, um, call it the trading stack side of things. But then we move on to technology stack. And that in itself is a huge part of the project. You know, we've got the trading side. So we're linking two different approaches here. It's the the trading side and the technology side. I call it the technology stack. And this is where, you know, if you're going to create a serious bot, you know, infrastructure really needs to be, you know, taken seriously and planned out carefully. And, you know, you can easily go wrong at this point. So first thing I'm going to be thinking about is the data, where am I getting it from? Well, we're going to use IG Index API for this. We're going to get probably one minute WTI price data. Um, as you can see there, local cash in CSV to save bandwidth, you know, storage, you've got to think of that sort of type thing. We're going to be pulling a lot of data in here, so how can we make that as optimal and as speedy as possible. Then the strategy engine is going to be Python. You know all the libraries that go with it to create the Renko logic. You know the strategy modules that we can plug in and plug out. Custom Renko brick builder. You know strategy config config file, and then you know the charting. I want it visualized as well out there in the platform. We call it the dashboard, trading dashboard that we're going to be able to watch everything from, and that is leading us into the web interface you know how do you actually interact with it you know what can you do with it um, so you've got to sit there and it's almost like a formula one driver's steering wheel with all those buttons on you have got to think you know what what do you want from that front dashboard you know trade signals performance metrics be able to run tests all that sort of thing all got to go into that web interface plus on top of that back testing and analytics you know, the portfolio metrics, my favorite sharp ratio I'd want, you know, drawdowns, win rate, all that at the tip of a 
you know, simple press on the keyboard to get that information so we're ahead of the game. And then the execution system there, it's about, you know, the IG REST API, getting to submit the trades, the risk modules, logging the trades for post-trade analysis. There's so much that go into this. Um, but that hopefully gives you an idea of, you know, where we're going with this project and just, you know, scratching beneath the surface to see actually this document is quite a sizable project. Let's just revisit the trading side and just finalise our initial inputs to the system. I'm going to use three different uh, WTI charts. Now on the left we've got the um, one minute chart there with a very fast block size so 0 0.05 so 5 cents very quick indeed with two stochastic indicators and a couple of moving averages um, middle one there notice that the block size goes up to 10 cents and you'll notice those two big block areas in there that's our breakout um, zones that we'll be programming in again with two stochastic indicators and then a longer term um, block size 20 cents it doesn't seem much um, these days I'd have gone a lot bigger and back in the day but 20 cents um, for call it sort of longer term trend trading but we're going to refine and you know come up with a process of creating optimal block sizes as well um, that's built into the system so Again, with that couple of stochastics, and we've got some supporting information down the bottom there, historical volatility and ATR as well that we're going to bring into the equation. So that's what it looks like. So let's just summarise that in a sheet of data. So a quick summation of the technical analysis inputs into this WTI crude oil strategy. We've got Renko charts, three of them. Uh, block size is 5, 10 and 20 cents. We're using two stochastic indicators with those settings across all three charts. Same for the moving averages, um, two of them with those settings and orb, which is opening range break um, set to those time periods. Note that's GMT, UK time and a couple of additional tools, the ATR, average through range and historical volatility. And I'll explain them as we get more into it. So there you go, that's a basic planning process in a framework that I like to follow that makes it as systematic as possible. Because we do it that way, it makes everything more easily measurable. And that's important when we're running these sort of projects. The big you know, warning here is if you don't plan in advance, you're going to fail. You might think you've got a great idea and you go off running, but you know it's not going to work you need to really test it thoroughly plan it thoroughly before and then go live with it you're going to give it longevity if you do it that way and that's what we're in here for the long-term success so there you go that's part two as you can see we've outlined where we want to go with the project I hope you've got an idea where we are taking it um, part three we're going to start doing some coding we're going to start pulling back data start building the strategy engine itself um, we're using the Renko blocks optimizing size all that sort of thing it's all coming to you next if you missed the first episode I'll put a link to that at the end of this video so you can watch that again and if you want to learn more about Renko I've got plenty on the channel on the Renko playlist that I'll again put at the end of this video but a lot of this is taken from my new book, Renko Chart Trading Revolution. And you can see that over my shoulder there. I'll put a link in the description there. Uh, section 8 of the book covers off all how to automate um, a Renko strategy. And you know, you know, pre-chapters around you know, backtesting, strategy design, optimization. Now, all you need to know really um, it's more than a Renko book it's more of a trading system book but that's there for you as well and we've also got a masterclass a live um, in person on well, in person online event with myself 3rd of July tickets still on sale for that I'll put a link for that in the description below but that's you know how I do it practically um, lots of hints tips ideas for you in there all thrown into that so 
there you go if you like today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification buttons to receive future content that i will be producing and hopefully you don't miss out on any of the subsequent episodes so hope to see you in part three very soon